finally, we're in the open air. <coughs> it even smells like cake out here. Come to think of it, I've had hardly a bite to eat since we started what? It was supposed to be a quick stroll. <sighs> that cake smell makes my tummy rumble, girl. Aren't you hungry too? Yeah, a little bit. Great, then let's find an inn. I could eat a horse. I too would be amenable to a little rest. But we should stay discreet. The city gates are closed during the war due to the war. We shall have to devise a plan to get out of this bind. An inn would certainly be a good place to obtain information. My people are more at risk with each hour we waste. That settles it then. We're going we're gonna eat. Wait, so you guys are just going to team up with the t like? Don't get me wrong, this guy seems great and all, but his stating his people may be at risk. Like, is he fighting for the whole demon army for a small village chunk? Like, I know if you go with the whole, there's always good and bad in every group, blah 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 blah, all that stuff. That you can't really ever make a proper choice. But I just met the guy. You sure, you want to just? All right body needs strength in order to fight. Can't you just say that you're hungry, Minos? I... I am hungry. Ah, there we go. You just have to be honest about your feelings and life immediately gets easier. If we're going to continue this adventure together, we have to be honest with each other. Right, girl? Let's go. I am hungry, Mega Clink. Let us gather our strength and find information. I gotta test it. Ah. Oh, we can go into the beach building and turn them. My son just loves the Coliseum. I wish he were more interested in the hard facts of life. Like doing host housework, cooking, working to survive. But I'll have time to learn about that when he's all grown up. Better to let him dream for now. I know we don't have much money, but my mummy works hard to fight. Or to have enough to take me to see the fights at the Coliseum. My mommy is super cool. Who's your favorite fighter? I'm so scared of Minos the Exterminator. I get nightmares sometimes. But don't tell my mommy, okay? She wouldn't want want to take me to the Coliseum no more. But we actually have Minos right here. Maybe he can be nice and try to put your nightmares to rest. Ever since the war started, my brother has had malicious thoughts. I'm positive those wretched sorcerers are behind all this. Why did the Emperor call on them to defeat the Battle of the Demon? Colonel Dalkin and our soldiers could certainly deal with it by themselves. Hey, they should send the lieutenants too while we're at it. Tour. What's in this building? My mom and dad, they're really, really, really rich. That kind of makes me a princess, right? I'm going to ask for a pony for my birthday, and also five new dolls. Whenever I start crying, they give me whatever I want anyways. Well, you're just a spoiled little brat. I can't get that chest out because she's blocking it. I hate my family. They're snobs who climb the social ladder on the back of big business. All they do is exploit people by stealing the added value of their hard labor. One day when I grow up, I'll be a revolutionary. Or maybe I'll travel around the world. I haven't really decided yet. Honestly, Maria, I, I've told you a hundred times never to come by pink and blah, 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 pink and blue sheets that way. My poor girl, you have no artistic sense about you. This is very upsetting. What in the world do you do all day besides housework? Better yourself, will you? Try to immerse yourself in art. Although I doubt you would be receptive to it. Dogs. That smell awfully ripe. Bleh. The missus is very demanding when it comes to colors. I admit I don't well understand what she wants. Surely it's because I don't know anything about art. Well, I got a single dollar. Better than nothing. All you need is one game console. A 64 piece T set. Too expensive to use every day. It's brand new. Honestly, young man, I find it quite presumptuous of you to speak with me that way. You know that I am destined to inherit my parents' fortune. Therefore, I hardly have time to waste speaking with people of your ilk. Sure. Bath road to a number of luxury hotels. At times I wonder if being rich is not a kind of servitude. In any case, it brings me many woes. Would I make the same choices if I had to do it all over again? Oh, I would certainly correct some mistakes. I would no doubt be even richer now.
Alright, let's lead the rich folk to their rich things. Be a millionaire. Play and win. Open 10 p.m. day to 4 a.m. My chickens run away and now they've strayed all across the city. What, you want to help me round them up? Sure. No way, last time I did that I trusted a kid all dressed in green who just screwed around. He even used my chickens to fly to the ground. Bunch of nonsense, really. My poor hens were traumatized for weeks. I'll take care of this myself. So, by attacking the hens, I didn't get the reference I want. But the reference was just over there, so I'm still happy with it. Wait, a W for Wack Donald's? Today's menu. Crunchy salad topped with six light critters. Main dish. Small rat stewed in its own dubious juices. Dessert. Cook hair pie. Today's special. Beef cartilage big wok with a side of root proofed fries. Rot fruit fries. Enjoy your meal. What? Welcome to Walk Donald's. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> we haven't started serving food yet. Stop by later. <laughs> I can't believe I actually guessed that right. That's awesome. What do you got for me? My fiance went off to main his bridge to fight with those awful demons. I'm so worried about him. What if he comes back disfigured with the scar across his beautiful face? Uh, so like, Squall? I'm so proud of my little Dawkin. He always had such a keen sense of justice, and now he's an important man. I just hope War doesn't change him, and that he'll always be my sweet little boy. No, War's gonna change him. War changes everybody. War. War never changes. Um, I'm kinda hoping that there's, like, a sword shop. Ah, shop. Ew, sell me stuff. Welcome to Rosalind. What would you like to buy? Tea, sugar, whiskey, weapons. All the weapons and pieces of armor have been... Are you kidding? I'm kidding. Find them. Let's buy tea. Tea? That's 25 G. Sure. Bought some tea. You got flavored tea. It smells real nice. The taste... Thank you. Uh, sugar. Ooh, I got a, an achievement or something. Uh, chat, chat. So I'm assuming he's talking to people so many times. Let's buy some sugar. You got sugar. Staple food for children under 10. Whiskey. You got old whiskey. Please drink responsibly. Maybe I don't want to drink responsibly. Did you ever think of that? Oh, I got three gold back, eight gold back, ten gold. So I almost paid for a full item. What do we got here? Is this supposed to be a doctor? Or is this a... Nope, it's a nursery or something. Welcome to the Genova Orphanage. We take care of all the children who've lost their parents to the war and other disfigures. It's a constant commitment every day and every hour, and unfortunately, every minute too. Kids are little shits. That's why I became a teacher. The red-haired girl is very kind. Yes, yes, ask her. We have great fun together. I'm a sweet girl, right? Huh? Yes, what? I can't hear you. Say I'm sweet. Say it. No. Wait a minute. I'll get you for this. I think I'm going to have to pee soon. I'm hungry. When do we eat? I'm bored. Want to play a game? I'm resting for a second. Oh, I do hope they leave me alone. Let's see what happens if we say the girl's sweet. I'm a sweet girl, right? What? 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 Yeah. Say I'm sweet. Sure. Hee hee. Really? That was it? Screw all y'all. I'm just going to kind of check over hither. Oh, got stuck behind the trough. Uh, anything up? Oh, old lady. What do you got? I don't think our beloved Emperor really wanted to go to the war with the demons. After all, he had good relations with them. So why this war? Why now? Bum bum bum. What do we got here? Is it barracks? Yes, it is. Will they try to arrest me? Uh. Ooh. What happens if I try to enter? Can't enter. Okay. I'm not going to bother talking to everybody here. It's just a waste of my time. That leads to the dungeons for the looks of it. Oh, wait, grass. Gotta replenish our gold stocks. I do so much of it up at the shop there. Alright, let's head into the inn.
Every night I had the same dream, a young woman dressed in black and white, in a gothic style made of it, comes to speak to me, and then I wake up. I would give my most treasured possession for a moment with her in real life. Oh well, another drink and keep. Get down here, Norbert. Don't try and tell me you're drunk. The alcohol in this beer evaporated years ago. I'm telling you, I saw them. There were these strange shapes swirling around me, trying to get inside me. Right as I was going by the sorcerer's headquarters. Well, I was right next to you, and I didn't see a thing. Maybe it was that mushroom dish you had. I did warn you not to eat anything here. Welcome to the River Rat Inn. I can honestly tell you that we're the best inn in town, and I'd even add, honestly still, that you'll remember your stay with us for a long time. But, rat? Of course not. Our establishment is the finest cleanliness. It must be a stuffed toy left here by a child. That's the most likely explanation, isn't it? Uh, is it? Can I kill it? Well, I can't kill it. And it does squeak. <clears throat> so it's a live rat, alright. Ooh, somebody's got an exclamation point. Hee hee hee. You wish to bring something in or out of the city? Hee hee hee. With reduced transit charges, of course. Ask Mr. Mudwell, he's in the inner courtyard. For the information. Blah 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 blah. That pinch, I seriously deserve a raise. Sure. No, ignore it, have Inky, you like to sleep? For you, that'll be 50 gold for the night. How's that sound? No. Okay, I guess I have to pay for it. It's your loss. So what? Yes. What? Okay, I guess I can't sleep for the night. I didn't just waste 100 gold. I was gonna say, I probably gotta go this way. Or not. So what's going on over here? Darn it, the sorcerers have uh, requisitioned the library again. Since they moved to the city, it's been barely accessible. I do wonder what they're searching for in there. Regardless, all this time I've been kept from reading the next installment of the Pirate Roberts Adventure Series. Okay, go in. Okay. I didn't want to check out your sorcerer's thingamajigger anyways. So... Now what? Did I miss a door back here or something? But he's obviously not letting me stay the night. Ah, here we go. Mr. Butler, are you looking to leave the city? I should be able to arrange that for you. Got some chicken feed for me? You know, calm, Polish, something to smother in our relations. Not that I don't trust you, but a little collateral, collateral never hurts. Carl, don't make the of this guy. I don't think it's such a great idea to do with him. The young lady, <coughs> the young lady is correct. At least in theory. However, I fear we have no other choice. In the army, we often say that the end justifies the means. I think the adage applies in the presence, present circumstances. But I shall leave the strategizing to you, Mega Clink. So, are you interested? Sure. Ah, I think you and me are gonna get along just fine. How about a small deposit to facilitate our relations? Let's say around 500 gold to start? No. Now, it's up to you. Nobody can say I'm twisting your arm. But if it was me, well, anyways, there's no rush. I don't have 500 gold. So, there's not much I can really do about that. Do I have to go back down to the sewers? Grind money? Yeah, that's probably what I gotta do. Like I said, I don't have 500 gold. Now I do. Let's try this again.
Alright, but what do you got for? Let's <laughs> skip all this talk. No, oh, let's see what happens if I say no. Ah, it says the same thing. So essentially, yeah, I gotta talk to him no matter what, anyways. Doo doo, skip all this, skip all this, skip all this, skip all this. Skip, 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 skip. Don't get your panties in a bunch. You've earned my trust now. So here's the deal. Bring me 150 G more, and I'll get you out of here. Oh, you can always refuse, of course, but in that case, I'll keep your deposit. It's only natural. I'm guessing you'll accept, yes. I suppose you don't have, or no longer have, the money on you. Am I mistaken? If you want to leave, it looks like you'll have to work for it. I know, that ugly word. Personally, I try as often as possible to refrain from it, but at times, the ends justify the means. My assistant at the inn should be able to help you find a few odd jobs. In return, you'll have to sleep there. I know, I know, it's no five-star accommodation. But just think of tomorrow, when you'll be free and far from the Empire. Good luck! Girl, are you sure that was a good idea? Mega click. I, sh <coughs> I shall never let you know Koshkit again. That's a bit harsh, Minos. Although, Crow did fall for it, hook, line, and sinker. But he's trying his best, and that's what really matters. We have lost all our money, and once more, we shall have to pay our way out of the city. Okay, I, I can't do that voice anymore. So we're gonna have to deal with the uh, regular world me. I'll try to do voices where I can every now and then, but for the main characters, I can't make funny things that I'm gonna have to try to follow this entire time. <laughs> First of all, that was our money, not yours. And secondly, you don't have to worry because I'll see to it that we get out of this horrible place. Is that okay with you, girl? After all, Minos and you and I are on the same. Er, blah, blah, blah. I missed that. Anyways, uh, let me make myself useful and earn the money we need. Sure. Thanks for trusting me. Okay, let's get to work. Hee <laughs> hee, here on behalf of Mr. Manuel. What can I do for you, miss? I'm looking to do some work in order to pay Mr. Muddle. Some work? Hmm, let's see. Here's a list of available positions. Uh, <coughs> positions, let me know what jumps out at you. Waitress at McDonald's. Maid at the Delamare resident. Child care. Obviously, we want to work at McDonald's. Are you sure you want to accept a waitress at McDonald's? Yeah. Go to walk, Donald. They'll tell you what you need to do. Just remember, don't need anything there. I'm not sure I'm gonna like this. <laughs> oh, where am I going? I wanna go down. Walk, Donald. Walk, 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 Donald. All right, buddy. What do we got? Welcome to McDonald's. We haven't started serving food yet. Stop on the really. Oh, are you the new waitress? Perfect. You're right on time. We'll start serving food real soon. Do you want me to explain what you have to do? Yes, please. You'll see. It's super easy. By watching closely, you'll see what mood the customer is in. Customers come in and sit down. You have to give them the time to choose a meal without bothering them. Then they'll want to place their order. After that, just come see me to get the meal before bringing it to them. Don't get the order wrong. Next, the customer eats their meal. I'll take a different amount of time for each person. It'll take. Just don't bother them while they're eating. Most of them really hate that. Once they finish, they'll want to pay for their food quickly before leaving. Go to them fast and they don't leave without paying. Try to take a few orders at the same time before bringing out the meals. The customers like that better. That said, you can only serve one meal at a time. Well, that's it. Easy as pie, right? So it's essentially one of those serving games. I suck at these. Easiest pie, right? Do you want me to repeat the instructions? No! Alright, we're officially open! Be quick about it. Could I have a big walk? Big walk. Thank you, thank you. Do, do, 
do 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 I never had to do this uh for a job. Oh, nothing. Okay. Uh I worked at a theater for a decent chunk of my life, but even then they uh it was just an usher, so I never really had to bother serving customers food. I think I worked like one shift behind the counter because I was covering for somebody. Other than that, not a day in my life did I have to bother serving people food. I am happy for that because it's a job that I do not want to do. The chef's pie. Day special. Two today specials and another chef's pie. Uh, today special. First. Oh, you're done. This is gonna get difficult. I can already see it. Uh, today special. Thank you. Yeah, 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 give me a second. Chef's pie. Oh, you're ready to order. So is the other one. Day special. This is gonna get difficult. Can I have today's special? What about you? What do you want? Salad, please. Thank you. What do you want? I wanna, let's see, today's special. A salad first. Oops, salad right at the top. special what do you two want Could I have a salad and a salad salad take your money what would you chef's pie today's special Special and the chef's pie again. Da -da -da -da, chef's pie. I'm actually surprised that I'm remembering these so well. Is that the end? Anything else? Nobody else? Please tell me that's the end because I really don't want to do this anymore. Come on, buddy. Hurry up and finish. Hurry up and finish. Hurry up and finish. Come on. Come on. I want to get off work. Uh, I want to get off work. Come on. Come on. Really? Really? Thank you. Oh, nothing. There's still more? Nice. We're done for the day. We had about 15 customers today, and no one left without eating or paying. The average customer satisfaction was 7.6, which is pretty good. <coughs> Here are your wages. Feel free to come back and work for us. Sweet, 110. Not enough, but it's a start. Oh, is it already night? What a day. It's about time I headed back to the end. I get the feeling that I'm, uh, gonna have to go through all three of those jobs. Uh, let's see if we can talk to the chick first, though. I'll leave you no charge for the night. Will you be staying? Yes, please. 